Can ChatGPT solve our bugs in our code? Hello, my name is Felipe Gavilan and in this video, I'm going to present to ChatGPT some code that has some bugs and I'm going to ask it if it can fix it. So the first one is this add function that we have here. It receives two parameters, but it is returning the difference between those two numbers. So this is a bug because the code should be adding them. So let me put this command here, the indication to ChatGPT asking what I want. There is a bug in the following class. Can you fix it? Thanks. And let me copy this and paste that here. Enter. Yes, I can help you fix the bug. It appears that the add method is incorrectly using subtraction instead of addition. Okay, so ChatGPT is capable of seeing the context in which the code is executing. It can see that this is an add function and therefore we should be adding, not subtracting. All right, that is great. Let's give it another problem. So here, as you can see, we have a remove first and last element from list. It received a list and we're supposed to remove the first and last element, but I'm only removing the first element, not the last one. Let's see if ChatGPT can pick this up. So let me copy the command again here, paste, and then I will put the code, copy and paste, enter. So it says that the method is only removing the first element from the list. To remove both the first and last element, you need to remove the last element as well. Here is the corrected version of the class. And as you can see, it is not only simply removing the last element, but it is introducing an if in case the list doesn't have enough elements so that we can remove the first and last one, which is fine. Now let's give it a third bug. In this one, we have a print matrix method that receives a bidimensional array. So what we're doing is that we're using two force to iterate rows and columns of the bidimensional matrix. Now I made a mistake here because I said get length zero when it should have been get length one. So let's see if we can pick it up. Let me copy this, paste that here. This is the command. And then let me copy the code and paste the code here. Enter. It says that it appears that the second loop in the print matrix method is using the wrong dimension of the matrix. It should use matrix get length one instead of matrix get length zero. All right, so it was capable of picking that subtle bug. And as you can see here, we have the fixed. All right, so let's see the following problem. Here we have the following situation. We have a person class with these properties and we have a person DTO class with these properties and we want to map from person to person DTO. So I created this map to person DTO function which receives a person and returns a person DTO, but I made a mistake. As you can see here, I have first name equal to person dot first name and last name equal to person dot first name. Typical error when you're working fast. So let's see if ChatGPT can pick this up. So let me give it the command, copy, paste, and then let me copy this code and paste that here, enter. So it says that it seems that the math to person DTO method is incorrectly setting the last name property of person DTO to the first name, property of the person object. Here is the corrected version of the class. And yes, it was capable of figuring that out. All right, so for the last problem, we're going to give it something bigger. I have a web API here and in here I have basically all the code. We have here our program class with the main method. We also have a people controller that receives an IPeople repository. And as you can see, we have typical methods like get, post and so on. And we also have a person class. We have the interface IPeople repository and we have the people repository class. And as you can see here, we have a simple list in memory. So what I want to do is to ask it if it can find any bugs in this code. The bug that I'm looking for is that I forgot to register in the inversion of control container the IPeople repository. So let me copy all of this. Let me copy all of this. Copy. And let's come here and let me paste this. And let me say, I will look for the command up here. There is a bug. And let me say here this there is a bug in the following web api can you fix it thanks 
and let's see what it finds. It says that it has found a bug in the getByID method in the people repository. In this method, you are using the ID variable as an index, but it should be used as an ID instead. Now, this was a surprise to me when I was planning this video. Turns out that I made a mistake accidentally because here in getByID, I was looking for the corresponding index of the person with this ID that we're receiving here. But by mistake, in this return, I said people ID when it should have been people index. That was an unintentional error, but it was pretty cool that ChatGPT was able to figure that out. And if we come here, we can see that indeed it says that here we should have put index instead of ID. So as you can see, it was capable of finding a real error from me. Now, what I want to ask to ChatGPT is that when I run my application and use the people repository, it throws an error. Enter, and let's see what it does with this information. Now it says that, that the issue could be due to the fact that the IPeople repository service is not registered in the dependency injection container. To fix this, you will need to register the IPeople repository and its implementation people repository in the program class, which is correct. That is what we're missing. We forgot to register in the dependency injection container or the inversion of control container, which is the real name, the IPeople repository service. And as you can see here, it is giving us the code builder services at singleton IPeople repository, people repository. Now, something else that I like about ChatGPT is that I can ask it questions about the code. For example, as we can see here, it is using at singleton. But why? Why is it using at singleton? Why did I need to use a transition or a scope? I can ask that question. Let me ask here, why did you use at singleton? Enter. And now as you can see, it is saying, I use at singleton because it registers the IPeople repository and its implementation, people repository, as a singleton service in the dependency injection container. A singleton service means that there will be only one instance of the people repository class created throughout the lifetime of your application. The instance will be shared across all the components that depend on the people repository. In this specific case, using a singleton service for the people repository ensures that the in-memory list people is shared across all incoming requests, which is essential for maintaining the state of the stored person object between API calls. This is correct. The reason why we should use at singleton is because, as we mentioned before, here in people repository, we are using a list in memory. So we are basically using a quote unquote database in memory so that what we are expecting is that if in a request I add a person in a future HTTP request, we can get that person. And the only way for us to do that with a list in memory is by configuring the service as singleton as was correctly done by ChatGPT up here. So as you can see, ChatGPT on the one hand, as we saw in the previous video, can help us build the new applications, but it also can fix bugs on existing applications. And also I can ask questions about why did you do something and then it will explain me why it did what it did. 